Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, right? So today I thought we'd do quite an asked for video and then I realized I actually haven't done one. I also, I just want to get in this video, right? I have not been to Turkey for a hair transplant, right? The amount of people in the comments be like, why have you got a hair transplant? You've got a good hairline. Yeah, I've got a pretty good hairline. I have not had a transplant, right? At the back of my head, I'll give you a quick look. It is something called folliculitis. Basically, one of my, it's an infection in your hair. I don't know how the hell I got it. Um, it's been an absolute nightmare. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. It's probably just gonna scar and leave a couple of little bald patches. Honestly, got no idea where it came from. Basically, one hair got infected in December and then just spread like wildfire. Had loads of like little spots and red rashes and oh, it was a nightmare. It's kind of healing now. I'm on antibiotics. But yeah, if you look at the back of my head and you see it all red and stuff like that, I haven't had a hair transplant. Right, today we're going to do a what's in the bag. We're going to have a little walk around a few holes and just go through uh, what's in the bag, different shots and stuff like that. Obviously, I've already done a video. Little Newcastle, I've got this. Um, I've already done a video on my driver. So we'll start off, obviously, with... Oh, you know what it is? Oh, I've got a, I have got a glove. A driver, ping G430 Max. Um, 10 and a half degree. I haven't really uh, played about with the weight or nothing like that yet. As you know, it is a cheating stick. It's got the, the Cali 60 stiff um, shaft in. I'm, <laughs> I know I say this, what's in the bag now? I might change the shaft. I don't know yet. Don't really need to, but you know me. I like to just buy more crap for golf. Anyway, let's get one down there. Then we'll move on to what I've done with my irons. So it's par four, quite a long par four to be fair. That will do. Down the left hand side, shouldn't be a bad line in. Next we're going to talk about irons, because irons over the last few weeks, you might have seen me, um, obviously I got fitted. I know I can swing it fast enough to be in a 120 shaft. I know I can, but for some reason in my head, or something happens where I really struggle on a course, I can hit them in the sim, I just kind of prefer a 105 shaft. So we have changed into the, um, the P7, 70s so i've dropped down from the p7 mcs to the p770 s basically because like i said at the start of the year p7 mcs are really good clubs but they're the equivalent to what dan would use on the european tour and dan hits the ball a hell of a lot better than me and i kind of want that extra bit of forgiveness where if i hit the ball out the toe or the heel it's not just gonna leak right it's not just gonna leak there uh, leak left in something like a p770 you just it's just a it's not thick at all it's just got a little bit more tungsten and a little bit more speed form in there and just you just get it's just a lot more forgiving and i don't want to make the game that much harder for myself and i think i got i fell in the trap of oh, i'm getting better let's get better clubs realistically you don't so yeah we've gone back to um, a 105 shaft modus 3 pro shaft um in stiff so it's a stiff 105 shaft blue grips i've normally got my baby blue grips on but i've put these um <laughs> dark blue grips on they're only one degree loft stronger than the mcs but like i said with that tungsten and speed form it comes off a bit better right 132 yards of the green let's see if i can plonk one on and show you what i mean it just comes off i, I can't really feel it come off it, it felt so hard um <clears throat> And it's just rolling off the left-hand side of the green. Like I said, if I'd caught that, that little bit heavy with a P7MC, it might not have got there. So that's a reason. Never, ever going to hit this, by the way. But we have got a three-iron. A three-iron 770. That came with a set. I can't see I'm ever going to hit it. I have put a four-iron back in the bag. But yeah, let's get down the green and uh, go through wedges. Right, we've got a 50, a 56, and a 60. I have absolutely no idea what that F, that D, and that D stands for. I do know the number means you get more bounce. So I, I struggled a bit out of bunkers last year and kind of went for this, the 12D. Um, there's a little thing on Titus's website that you can go on and you can fill in and it kind of recommends what bounce. So I ended up with a 12D again. Must be right though, because look at that, look at the bounce marks there. The, the, the way is exactly on the bounce mark. That's sick actually, I've never even noticed that. 56 is, like I said, my favorite club, a club I use freaking everywhere, and we'll, I'll show you that in a second. And a 50, um, obviously my gap wedge, I use them about 120 in. I don't really use it for chipping, I literally use my 56, which I'll show you now. So yeah, I've got obviously exactly the same. Some people said, I got a message the other day saying what shaft you got in your um, wedges. I've got exactly the same as my irons, the Modus 3 Pros. 
105 stiff, and there's them baby blue grips that I love, which will eventually go on these ones as well. Let's see if we can get off this video off to a par. Little grip down, bump and run. Just like that. That is why I love that club so much. Right, putter. Ooh, a little walk and talk about the old putter. Nice little head cover. So I've got the Scotty Cameron uh, Jet Set. It came out last year. Um, one of their special edition putters. I think these are, they're going for quite a bit now. Change the grip. Um, grip for me, Scotty Cameron. If you've got a Scotty Cameron putter, they come on with, they come with really thin grips. I just wanted something a little bit thicker. So I've gone for a, the Superstoke 3.0. The, the two was a little bit, and it just lets my hand, I just feel like I can just feel, I just, I just prefer it, so it's personal preference, but for me, I have got the Superstroke um, 3.0 on there. I also, it came with 10 gram weights in them. Um, so I've changed the 10 gram weights to 30 gram weights. For me, I used to take it back, and it used to kind of go, like, it used to be hit, like all over the place. So what I did was, I changed it to a heavier weight, and I just found it so much easier. So if you've got a Scotty and you struggle a little bit, Honestly, have a little have a little play around with the weights. Like I said, I changed the two tens to two thirties, and it just feels like it just it just like literally rocks back and forwards and hardly moves. And recently, you might have known in my videos. I haven't really done a video on this, but I might as well mention it in this. Instead of if you look at me from down the line there, right hand how I normally put my shoulders are wide open, and I was just I was kind of just like pushing puts, pulling puts. So I have recently changed. If you look down the line now, from that. That's my shoulders there. And if I change the left hand low there, you can see my shoulders are squaring up. So left hand low, here we go. Bosh, par. So that's my putter, Jet Set 2 Plus. Forgot to mention that. Oh yeah. Bish, bash, bash. So I carry uh, a three wood, um, a three wood and a seven wood. Seven wood, uh, I had a hybrid. I just find a seven wood off a tee so much handier and easier than a hybrid. And it gives us a, like a, me another option, short par four. I haven't got to go three wood. I can hit a seven wood off the tee. So if, you, if, you are, if you've got a hybrid or a drive nine and you're struggling, believe me, get a seven wood. Tommy Fleetwood carries a seven wood, so don't be ashamed. Right, so we're gonna go three wood off the tee. This three wood is actually brand spanking new. I haven't even done it yet. We're all gonna do a video on this. So we're actually going to now take off the wrapper. Brand spanking new. There is not a better feeling in golf than taking off. There it is. The cheating stick has just had a baby. Woohoo! Yeah, I think three wood. Again, I had a four wood and then I got a little bit better, a little bit more confident and started hitting the three wood. If you are not confident, which I get and hate hitting the three wood, just get a four wood or even a five wood. You can still gap perfectly between a four wood and a seven wood. Oh, the cheating stick has had a baby. That is unreal. Whoo! Right, let's get another paw. Right, so now here, I might as well talk a little bit about the ball. Would you be interested, by the way, if I got in the sim on the GC quad and hit a few with like Bridgestone Pro V, TP5, and we'll do like a comparison on the sim, or would that be a really boring video? We could do it. I'd enjoy doing it, but would you like to see it? This is that ball that has gone like 56 rounds without losing. It is just a Pro V. Pro V X, I think it's a bit too hard. I prefer a soft ball. So at the minute, I'm playing around with like a Bridgestone, super soft um, Pro Vs, because it's kind of a softer ball. And I read a few places like of pros and stuff like that, like amateurs should be using the softest ball they're comfortable with. Normally do use the old Pink Castle tees, just because I feel with wooden tees, I struggle with consistency. So, but I've actually recently changed. Now I've got the cheating stick, I'm hitting them off orange Castle tees. Bit more height, I'm getting a ball a bit further, and it's working, it's working really well. So yeah, orange tees. We've got 148 yards. Again, in my old irons, that was probably gonna be um, an eight iron. But in these, let's see, I've got up a club, so it's a nine iron. Oh, that is unbelievable. They're so nice, these irons. Go on. Oh. <laughs> oh, where's my divot? That's why I've changed. Make the game that little bit easier. And I actually think we're going to have a birdie putt. 
just shows you as well when you've got a three wood that you that you trust because my three wood was good i had the tsr three but again it, it's not the easiest club to hit in the world i ripped it a couple of times but off the deck sometimes i struggled so i'm excited to get in getting these new ones yeah so now i've actually got a ping driver ping g430 max driver three wood and seven wood d770 irons Vokey SM9 wedges, jet set putter, ball, Pro V1 Bridgestone, watch, a lot of people ask about my watch, it is the Garmin Mark Q2, it's a really expensive watch to be honest with you, you can't get an S62 or something like that, but for me, I just love this, it was a birthday present, but they are about two grand, but I wear it pretty much every day anyway. It didn't move whatsoever. Ah. Right, for me, the sun, and eventually getting some good weather, and the golf courses are really starting to take shape now. Hopefully, it's a good eight months until we see anything like them freaking mats we've been hitting off all winter. Oh, I hate them. But yeah, thanks for watching. That's what's in the bag, 2023. No doubt it'll change. I'll try and keep you updated as much as possible. But yeah, anything in the bag that I missed that you want me to dive more into, let me know. But yeah, see you soon and enjoy the spring.